Hello YouTube! I've been wanting to diversify my channel a bit and therefore I'm probably going to try a few things out just seeing what works and what doesn't. Today I thought I'd try to fill in a bit of a gap as there's a lot of atheist content dealing with Christianity out there and some dealing with Islam but very little dealing with other faiths or sets of beliefs. From what I've seen, atheists don't seem too interested in spiritual ideas unless they find them threatening to their personal freedom or directly harmful in some way. But this seems like an awful narrow framework to look at the diversity of ideas that you may encounter among people in the world. Maybe it's because I don't identify as an atheist, but I like to know about what the people around me believe and why. Now, I have seen skeptic people making fun of some of the more absurd stuff that you see on YouTube videos or the internet sometimes, but because they're not grounded in understanding, it really is just preaching to the converted, no pun intended. I became interested in New Age kinds of stuff when I was still in my teens, and I was an enthusiastic student of all kinds of occult theory and practice for years. I no longer subscribe to any of the beliefs, per se, but I did get something out of it in terms of deep experiences and some personal growth types of stuff, so I can't call it a waste. But there are some real problems with the world of Wu as well. I call it that not in disrespect, and I hope it's not taken that way. That's what atheists tend to call it, and this is aimed at them. I can't deny that there's a lot of weirdness and ways to get taken advantage of. It is some dark places you can wander into. Also, there was the one time I came out of a trance to realize I had started a fire. Because I'm an idiot. Safety first, people. Anyway, so in this video, I will talk about Wicca. And I'm starting here because that's an actual religion. Most of the New Age, or this sort of thing, it's just a hodgepodge of all manner of ideas. You might be into crystals, or kundalini, fairies, or angels, past life regression, or age of Aquarius prophecies, you name it. But Wicca is a belief system. There's a structure to it. Values, holidays, rituals, the whole shebang with a capital SHE. What is Wicca, and where did it come from? Wicca is a contemporary neo-pagan religion. It came, mostly, from Britain. In 1945, England finally repealed the last Witchcraft Act, which made practicing witchcraft or magic criminal. This provided the opportunity for a man named Gerald Gardner to start publicizing his personal religion which he did in a series of books. Gardner was a well-traveled man with a passion for amateur anthropology who had belonged to several occult groups, including a coven in England. Gardner claimed his witchcraft tradition represented an unbroken line of secret practitioners reaching far into pre-Christian times, handing down their wisdom and craft through generations of oath-bound initiates. The degree to which he actually believed this is unclear, but what is clear is that this is not particularly true. His witchcraft, it wasn't called Wicca originally, was a pastiche of ceremonial magic, folk traditions, Aleister Crowley stuff. The influences were quite broad and eclectic, much as Wicca is today, to be honest. Most Wiccans, though, are totally aware that Wicca is in fact a modern religion, one that takes a lot of inspiration for what we know of the older pagan religions, sure, but they know that Gardner was not 100% on the level. Some maybe hardcore types might care or be worried about that, but most really aren't. There's an understanding that Wicca might be a made-up religion, but so are all the other religions, so... Anyway. Wicca took off, spread to America and other places all over the world now, some areas more than others, and though there's no way of taking an accurate count of Wiccan, most Wiccans are not about advertising their personal beliefs. But you know, somebody's buying all those books, somebody's going to get the crystals, somebody's, somebody's watching all these YouTube videos and going to the websites and all of that. So who knows, right? Wicca and deity. From an atheist's point of view, asking if Wiccans believe in God is somewhat a complicated question. 
more so than it may seem, Wiccans worship the goddess in every case, and usually they worship a god as well, who may or may not be considered on equal footing with the goddess. However, it would be a mistake to take this too literally. Wiccans are more likely to believe that these are personified representations of divine creative powers that exist within the world. Energies that cannot be fully understood or expressed by our limited human minds, but we can sort of apply these archetypal images as a shorthand for talking about them or trying to achieve some sort of communion with them. Their views combine pantheism, as they believe the divine is imminent in all of nature and within every individual, panentheism, as there's an element of transcendence in this belief, and polytheism, as they believe pretty much every god or goddess or religious belief has expressed some understanding or aspect of the goddess or the god. And they may seek to develop a personal connection with any of these traditions or to adopt a patron or matron deity of their own. The craft. Wiccans perform rituals and magical spells alone or as part of a coven. Again, there's a range of what this means. Wiccans have no centralized authority, no one Bible, so there's always going to be a range. There's always going to be a, not all Wiccans do this, not all Wiccans believe that, right? So their form of magic might be closer to what you would think of as meditation or prayer or contemplation with a goal of spiritual growth. Wicca being very experiential, very much about what you do and what you experience over the, what you read about or think about or anything like that. Or some of these spells might be closer to the kinds of spells you imagine when you imagine people doing spells, if that makes sense. Again, the tendency of atheists to think of things in very literal terms is not going to help here because Wiccans believe the forms and props of ritual are nowhere near as important as the intention, will, and spirit of the practitioner, and therefore think that you should change these kinds of things out as much as you want. That said, they do believe in things. They believe in psychic abilities. They believe in the ability to use focused intention and will to manifest desires in the world. Reverence for nature. Wiccans seek a deep bond with nature, and one way they do this is following the cycle of seasons with religious holidays called Sabbaths that represent them, as well as often having meetings or rituals based around lunar cycles called Esbets. The main symbol of Wicca is the pentacle, five-pointed star within the circle. Ugh, I wore one of those for years. Anyway. It represents the forces of nature, earth, air, fire, and water, with spirit above them, bringing everything into harmony. It's a protective symbol. Wiccans also believe sex is sacred, in keeping with their reverence for nature. They may utilize ritual nudity, or perform sex magic, or they may not. But in any case, this is a very sex-positive religion, and there's no discrimination for gay people, anything like that that I'm aware of. I've sort of been out of the game for a long time, but it would have had to have changed quite a bit for that to be a problem. Wiccan ethics. The Wiccan read, actually there's more than one Wiccan read, but the most common form contains the injunction, and it harm none, do what you will, which is sort of their basic ethical premise. They also tend to have a belief in something like karma, and may or may not subscribe to the threefold rule that whatever energy you put out into the world will come back at you threefold. So this was an extremely quick and dirty guide. A lot of stuff is being left out, but that I think gives the general idea of what it's about. I'm putting in a link to a YouTube video from a Wiccan talking about it because I think it's it's just good to get the point of view of an actual believer as opposed to somebody just sort of talking about it. Now, obviously, 
I'm not putting that in so that people can go give her a hard time. Don't do that. Don't. Just don't. I hope this has been useful for people. I think atheists aren't often interested in religions that don't want to have debates with them. <laughs> no fun at all, right? But from the point of view of intellectual curiosity, you know there are all these nuns out there, and you know the rise of the nuns, of which atheists are just one small little part. But I think that another segment of these nuns are going to be pagans or cultists of various stripes. So it makes sense to me that you would want to know about who you're sharing a demographic with of sorts. And in the event you happen to meet or know a person who is a Wiccan, they probably will not want to share a lot of details with you if they think you're going to be a dick about it. Because Wiccans don't proselytize. They don't believe in any kind of divine punishment for not being a Wiccan. And they are acutely aware that in a lot of places they will face discrimination for their beliefs. Also, there's just a, there's a tradition of secrecy. So if you want to have a discussion about these things, you'll have to be prepared to do some listening and not come in charging and demanding citations and whatever. But Wiccans will be on your side when it comes to secularism. They'll be on your side when it comes to climate change denial. Of course, people who know me know that I am more concerned with whether or not you're a secularist than whether or not you believe in God or, or are an atheist or an agnostic. I could care about that. What I care about is whether or not you believe in the separation of church and state and whether you're willing to sort of put your shoulder behind that wheel. So for me, it's more than worth getting an idea of who would be on my side in those cases. I know I am very critical of atheists and the quote-unquote, skeptics, the rationals, TM, and you're welcome. But I do know a lot of atheists, and I also know a lot of people who are more interested in stuff like this kind of stuff that I'm talking about right now. And I thought this might be helpful. So if you agree, or if you would like to hear more about this sort of thing, give me a like or let me know in the comments. If it gets a good response, I'll probably do more. If it doesn't, I'll probably move on to something else. Anyway, this is Ben Curiosity, and you know you liked it, so thumbs up. And you know you want more, so subscribe. Bye!